take three. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking Around the World, uh, another episode uh, of Cooking in Isolation Lockdown. Today we're doing chicken and vegetables in plum sauce, so we're going for a little Chinese flavour today. Uh, we've done a few things to start, we see over on the board here, Deb. You don't need to watch the boring bits of me chopping stuff up like that. Uh, got a few things ready to go, got our stock, and over here, we've browned off our chicken already, that's just one of the first step in this. And you see, just cut it into chunky bits, doesn't have to be you know, tiny little bits, larger, and just um, stir it through some corn flour, some people like to put it in a freezer bag and shake it through with the corn flour. Uh, and then just brown it off. That's, don't cook it too hard, because this is breast. If you cook it too long, you'll dry it out. Just give it a quick cook, just to give it a bit of colour, a bit of flavour. And the corn flour coating on that, on that will also help thicken up the sauce later. What we're going to do over here, very quickly, we're going to cut the onion into wedges today. I'm trying to stab myself. And halved. Wedges. We'll halve it. Simple as that. Now get a few cloves of garlic, crushed, and cut up nice and fine. Now we'll get all that into the wok. There's a little bit more oil in there. There's a little bit left in there for a little bit of oil left in there from our um, chicken browning. Bring the heat back up to wok fired levels. That will start sizzling as it comes back up to temperature. Okay, do this really quickly this time. So we're going to add our ginger. You notice I haven't grated or finely chopped the ginger. Sometimes I just like to have it in matchsticks. Just takes a little bit longer, but I love uh, ginger cut like that. If sometimes if it's going to be a longer stir fry style cook, I will cut the ginger into matchsticks and add it in right towards the end of the, the cook. So you're actually tasting that little ginger hits as you're going, as opposed to quite often if you cook it early up, if you grate it down really finely, it just becomes part of the overall flavour. If you cut it into matchsticks, then at the end you actually get little ginger bursts. Sometimes we'll even do that with chilli. Cut the chilli into little bits, put it in right at the end. So instead of having a hot dish, you have a dish with just little bursts occasionally flavour, whether it be chilli, garlic, uh, ginger. Now we don't want to cook this for too long. We want a little bit of a little bit of crunch still in those onions. So you notice the red onion went into this one. Just for the colour. Uh, what we'll do here. We've got some bok choy. We'll just chop that down for it. Okay. We'll chuck in the, the stems of the bok choy first. The stems will take a little bit more to soften them. And we'll chuck in the leaves later. The, the, the bok choy leaves will virtually disintegrate. all that onion touches the face of the wok at some stage so it gets a little bit of just a little bit of cooking in it without cooking the death out of it. Mushrooms in they go. Cut fairly chunky once again so people who don't like mushrooms can pick them out. Me. They're not naming names yet. 
And with this one, this is chicken and uh, chicken and veg. What we're going to do? You see down here, we've got a can of uh, sliced water water chestnuts, bamboo shoots. Simple as that. Here they go. Just quick stir through. And they will warm up pretty quickly as they, they hit the pan. We should be we're roaring away at the moment. Beautiful. In the recipe, it says add cashews to it now. I prefer to add cashews right towards the end, so they've still got some crunch in them. If we were to put, in, put them in now, they tend to go a little bit soft and soggy. We don't like that. I like to add that sort of stuff right at the end, so you get nice little... And I use salted cashews. Sorry, I'll... <laughs> I like that little salty, nutty hit at the end. Okay, they're looking good there. Just breaking apart all those bits of water chestnut. Okay. Um, just out of interest sake, because I like them, little baby corns chopped up. There's chicken and veg, so just let it all go. Now this is, this is such a quick dish to do once you have everything prepped. It's just all being thrown in now. We have half a cup of plum sauce. Any brand will do. You can get I am and get Lee's Plum Tea brand from your Asian food shop. That I am brand is just from the um, normal supermarket. One tablespoon of soy sauce. We we'll use a light soy. Right at this point, let's return the chicken to the pot. Give it a quick stir. Oh, that's amazing! Amazing smell from that. There. Quick stir. And I'm going to add some chicken stock. Those uh, leaves of the bok choy will wilt as soon as the, they hit the heat. Okay, this is one cup of chicken stock. I do use Marcel chicken stock, I can't remember where the container went. And we just give that a quick stir. As that stock comes to boil with the chicken that was coated in corn flour, that's, uh, that sauce or the stock will start to thicken up and that's what will give us our, uh, our sauce for a thicker glazing sauce. Just needs to come back to the boil. I think we might even add a handful of, we like them to? Yep. Like bean shoots? Yep. When you're cooking it at home, you can chuck in whatever you like. Remember, this is chicken and vegetables. Whatever your faves might be, chuck them in. Now that will start thickening as it uh, comes to boil. What I'm going to do right now, is get a very quick taste just to see how what the flavours are like, what our seasoning is like. Doesn't need anything. Taste of plum sauce, uh, get a, the saltiness from the soy and the stock. So I'm happy with that. I don't know the gang's going to be happy with that, are they? <laughs> sure. That's the thing now. We just got to get this to boil and, and we're good. Go. Chucking a handful of leaves right now. And they will cook down also. I did have that stock done in boiling water until um, someone kept <laughs> wrecking <laughs> the, the tapes and we had the tapes we had to start again several times. So it's just lost a bit of its heat. No, not pointing things at anyone. That's 
we need now just wait for it to boil. While we're waiting, I'm going to get the rice, which I've just microwaved once again using a um, 90 second jasmine rice, microwave rice. I should have shares in that company, shouldn't I? <laughs> This is always the problem when we something has to cook for a few moments and we're trying to fill the time. <laughs> so that's happening. Quick magazine change. That's better. That's better. Ran out of bullets. Because the boiling of the um, the stock in conjunction with the corn flour on the chicken, it'll thicken the gravy up for us. It's immediately thickening. Fantastic, that's how that's the way we want it. The rice ready here. Oh, that's looking nice and glossy. Cashews over the top. Always a favourite of mine. Fried shallots. Get a little bit of extra crunch in there. Look at that. There we go, Deb. Chicken and vegetables in plum sauce. See you next time.